The FBI is responsible for more terrorism plots in the United States than any other organization. More than Al-Qaeda, more than Al-Shabaab, more than the Islamic State, more than all of them combined. In the latest bombshell news, we have a federal judge who called out the corrupt FBI for their shady law enforcement tactics. The judge just released an innocent man who was set up by the FBI and arrested for being a terrorist in a clear case of entrapment. It's not like they don't have a bunch of criminals out there committing real crimes at the federal level, but now they have to manufacture crime. We have to figure out why so that we can figure out how to stop them. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we have another video here where we're going to expose the lunacy of the left. I mean, grab your hip waders, guys, because today we're sloshing through the swampy muck of our so-called D.C. justice system. And you heard it right. A federal judge finally slapped down the corrupt FBI for their dirty dealings in a post-9-11 terrorist case. Guys, this goes back to 2011. This Judge McMahon ordered the release of one James Cromartie. I hope I pronounced his name right, saying the whole plot was drummed up by the shady FBI themselves. Makes your blood boil. The, the G-men entrapped this Cromedy fella, planning and prodding him to attack synagogues and shoot down National Guard planes. The guy was just a doofus, low-time criminal, and they got him to do these things. And then the FBI swooped in and nabbed their manufactured terrorists. It's textbook case entrapment. And this ain't the first time the rogue FBI went off the rails in their zeal to bag a so-called domestic terrorist. Remember that farce of a plot to kidnap Governor Whitmer up in Michigan? More FBI agents in that mix than there were actual kidnappers. And who can forget their dirty tricks framing the Oath Keepers? You would think that there are enough criminals out there committing real crimes, enough that they would be super busy all the time, but after 9-11... The FBI stopped going after organized crime. They stopped going after your basic criminals committing federal crimes. They had a new target, and that was terrorists. There was money to be made in terrorism. They used the Patriot Act eventually against American citizens. And then the Democrats learned that they could use this new mentality of going after terrorists with all the tools that they have to do so but against their political enemies, conservatives and Republicans. This is why they call us mega extremists, because they send out dog whistles for the FBI to go after anybody that disagrees with the current administration. It's time we face facts, guys. The FBI has become a puppet of the Democratic Party, doing their bidding to paint conservatives as violent extremists. And they don't care if they have to orchestrate the violence themselves and throw a few dupes under the bus. Out of control doesn't even begin to describe it. And you know, prior to 9-11, the federal government under the Clinton years, from what I remember, was not so squeaky clean as a whistle. They weren't then either. I mean, do you remember Ruby Ridge and Randy Weaver and his family in Boundary County, Idaho, where federal agents tried to get the guy who was a separatist but didn't bother anyone. He just lived in his home with his wife and kid. They tried to get him to become an informant. So the government's argument was that Weaver began, this is the official argument, Weaver began attending several meetings of the Aryan Nation, which is a white supremacist group. Isn't it funny how the federal government lies under Democrat administrations have not really changed that much? They claim that Weaver was a white supremacist. Then, and they're claiming that anybody who disagrees with Joe Biden's policies are white supremacists today. Apparently, there were drug dealers that lived down yonder over the holler that the FBI and the ATF wanted to learn about since Weaver was technically their neighbor. It was miles down the road. Um, they asked him to become a federal scumbag, I mean a federal informant, to go and speak to the guy and wear a wire and all that. Well, Randy didn't want to be bothered. He refused to work for the feds. And up till five minutes prior to that, Americans couldn't be forced to be informants for the federal government. So they entrapped him by having an ATF informant befriend him. And after refusing to do it multiple times, the informant finally got Weaver to saw off a shotgun to the illegal limit. And that's when the feds immediately moved in and threatened Weaver that if he didn't become the informant they wanted him to be, they would charge him with gun violence. So what happened in the end? His family got killed in a shootout with the feds. 
The feds have been off the rails for quite some time, but right now it's getting worse than ever. What happens is the agency is now all about you rising up the ladder in rank and getting that better G pay scale. You know, and, and the only way to do that is to do exactly what your superiors tell you, even if you feel that it's not right, that it's immoral or wrong. But when you do what your bosses tell you to do without question, that's how you rise up in rank. Whatever happened to just going after the real bad guys? So what's the solution here? Well, this judge handing down a smackdown is a good start. It ain't enough. We need a top-down house cleaning at the Bureau. Give it an enema to flush out all the rotten corruption. Ooh. And the agents who broke their oaths, they need to be locked up. Federal prison, not some country club fed, but who's going to do it? Donald Trump will do it. The FBI's dishonesty and corruption has no place in America. We got to demand accountability and a restoration of justice before our own agents become the real threat to our republic, if they haven't already. So call your representatives and raise hell until we see action. The time for pussyfooting around is over. Guys, we could be losing the Republic right now. And our own federal agents who we pay for are going to be the cause of it. All right, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Share our videos with like-minded friends who want to stay informed with what's really going on. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Lately I've been going through some hard stuff. Getting knocked down, getting right back up. Only mistake I made was thinking you.